The following video is a demonstration of how paper plates are tested for rigidity or strength. It was filmed in the Dark Container Corporate Lab while testing plates from a competitive manufacturer. This testing follows industry-wide standard procedures published by the Food Service and Packaging Institute, also known as FPI. Prior to testing, all plates are placed in an environmentally controlled room, known as a tappy room, for 24 hours. This eliminates any variables, such as temperature and humidity. All plates are tested under equal conditions. Since the rigidity measurement of the plate will be influenced by the grain of the paper, two rigidity measurements will be taken, one in the direction of the grain, known as the machine direction, and one measurement 90 degrees to the grain, known as cross-directional. The rigidity of the plate is stated as an average of the two readings. The higher the rigidity reading, the stronger the plate. Note that the plate has been marked indicating the machine direction and cross-direction. The plate is placed on the test stand in the machine direction. The silver pins are used to correctly center the plate on the test stand. The leveling bar on the left side is lowered to hold the plate in position. This simulates a hand holding the plate. The pins on the right side are removed once the plate is positioned to allow the plate to bend without interference as pressure is applied. The pressure arm is lowered onto the right side of the plate. The pressure is stabilized to establish a baseline at a point where the plate is level. Once the baseline has been established, further pressure is applied to the right side of the plate until the plate is deflected a half an inch. The pressure or weight needed to deflect the plate is recorded. In this case, 54 grams of force was needed to deflect the plate a half an inch. The plate is removed from the test stand and rotated 90 degrees to the cross grain direction. The same methods for positioning and stabilizing the plate are used. Pressure is again applied to the right side of the plate until it's deflected a half an inch. The pressure reading is recorded. In this case, 45.7 grams of force was needed to deflect the plate a half an inch. The rigidity measurement for the plate is the average of the recorded measurements from the machine and cross-direction readings. As a result, the rigidity for this plate is stated as 49.8 grams. As a reminder, the higher the rigidity reading, the stronger the plate. 